Okay, in this video I'm going to discuss how to add a combo box to a Microsoft Excel worksheet. And the combo box that I'm kind of referring to here is one that requires your macros to be enabled and it's an ActiveX control. So first I'm going to load up a Microsoft workbook, brand new. I'm going to go to our developers tab. Under developers tab I'm going to go to insert. And not under form controls, but I'm going to want ActiveX controls. I'm going to select the second icon which is the combo box ActiveX control. I'm going to click it. This will give you the ability to draw onto the form. I'm going to draw it in here. And you can go to properties by using this button or right click it and select properties. And you can change the background color, the back style, border color. There's several properties that you can change the one that I'm going to change is the text property and I'm just going to put select a name now when we're out of design mode nothing comes up here I'm going to show you how you can add items to this combo box but to do that I'm going to put us back into design mode and I'm going to use it I'm going to put a command button here where we'll put in some code so in the command button I'm going to right click at properties I'm going to put add item. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the button because we're still in design mode. If we were not in, in design mode, I would simply click the button and nothing would happen because we don't have any code in there. In design mode, we can double click it. It'll take us to the Visual Basic environment and we can type in some code. We'll do a real quick input box. What would you like to add? and we'll put if length of x is greater than zero because we're assigning the value that the user enters to x then we'll do sheet one dot combo box one dot add item and we'll put x and if what we could do is do else message box you did not enter a value so let me show you how this code works. Take us out of design mode, close up the properties window, and I'll do add item. What would you like to add? If I don't hit anything and I hit OK, we'll get this message box saying you did not enter a value. But if we were to click add item, let's just call this test one, hit OK. If you're looking at your combo box one, there is now test one. If we were to do add item again, type in test two, we should now have both items, test one and test two. So that concludes this portion of this video. In the next video, I'm going to discuss how to set the index number and how and I'm going to discuss some other properties such as how to clear out the combo box. Thank you for watching.